Hi guys, this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to ITLKV Labs. So guys, as you know that I was away for almost one month and uh, now I'm back. Guys, I had some personal commitment that I need to, uh, you know, fulfill. So, but now I'm here and uh, I have a lot of things to cover. I think uh, uh, a lot of uh, our, you know, initiatives uh, are still uh, underway. For example, Python series and then uh, the Informatica series itself, right, from the development point of view. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think there are a lot many things uh, even uh, to cover, right? So uh, we will try to cover is, you know, uh, as soon as, you know, I can also accommodate uh, uh, all these things in my timelines, right? Uh, but uh, I thought that it's really important that uh, to take up some of the questions from the channel, I think, uh, the, from the comment section. And uh, so that, you know, uh, it can benefit all of you. Yeah. So let's do one thing, guys. Uh, let's try to take up this uh, first question in this session and we'll carry forward with the uh, uh, rest of the questions, right? So the first, uh, this question is very important, I thought, right? So Sarang has asked, uh, could you please make a video on ETL developer and ETL tester? And if one want to switch from another technology, which should... Uh, he consider right between these two so guys uh, uh, it's basically you know the more of a career advice kind of uh, question right wherein uh, uh, you know um, somebody who is really working into some other field are probably uh, fresher or uh, you know so I already did uh, one video but that is uh, very specific to the ETL testing right but this question is a bit uh, uh, you know different so let me try to answer this question and hopefully this can uh, help and uh, guide people who are really looking forward uh, you know to understand so based on my understanding guys so uh, etl developer and uh, i will just try to see that uh, you know uh, segregate it what is the roles and responsibility and how one should uh, go ahead and what are the factors that one should consider before you know uh, considering this uh, careers right lead etl tester right are the ETL QA engineer guys okay all right so one second all right guys so ETL developer right so this ETL developer uh, this particular role is uh, you know uh, very important uh, from the point of view uh, from the development point of view right so if you are choosing a career as an ETL developer, then uh, uh, the, your role your role will be you know very specific to a particular uh, technology. So for example, when I say, uh, what do you mean by specific, right? So it's uh, specific to a to a set of tool, right? A set of tool. Because the thing is, there are so many ETL tools in the market, right? For example, Informatica. Clover and you have got uh, Abinicio okay Abinicio and then you have uh, data stage right so all our different tools are there in the market it's very difficult to you know do the mastery on all these tools right together for a ETL developer so as a ETL developer or tester uh, uh, sorry as a ETL developer you may be actually having expertise in one or two tools right but it but the underlying concept is same guys right so so that is the reason right so you can be uh, you will be actually uh, working uh, mostly on one or two tools throughout your career right uh, so, uh, you know, one of the most popular tool in the market is Informatica and I think uh, as per my understanding, I think uh, if not less, 70 to 80 percent of projects are actually using the Informatica for uh, their ETL because uh, for their ETL solution, right? So, so you know, you can actually learn uh, Informatica and then you, uh, you are good to, uh, you know, uh, go as an ETL developer, right? So this is specific. So as a developer, you will be actually learning the specific set of tool and then you will be doing the mastery, right? So one thing is that, right? So I, so when you uh, see against your, uh, you know, ETL tester, what ETL tester is supposed to do in this case. So ETL tester 
Uh, yeah, so a bit of tool knowledge is also important, right? So for example, if you know how the Informatica works, then you can do a bit of more effective testing. But irrespective of the tool, as a tester, as a QA engineer, I think you need to be focusing more on the process side of it, right? So how the transformation are happening, what are the different transformation that is supposed to happen. And actually from the testing point of view, you are actually more concerned about validating the data, whether the data that is getting uh, in and out between that whatever transformation are happening, right? Between, uh, you know, uh, what do you say, the source and target between input and output, whatever transformations are happening, you are supposed to validate that, right? So it is basically tool agnostic, I would say, right? So it's, uh, if, if you are not well versed about any uh, specific tool, then also you can actually you are good. I mean, uh, but having the knowledge of the, the specific tool, uh, the ETL tool will always uh, having an added advantage or added value to your, uh, you know, CV or your career. But uh, yeah, it's it's a very generic rule, right? So that's what I'm saying. It's a generic, it's not a specific to the tool, right? So it's generic testing um, understanding, right? So you can actually test whether the ETL tool is Informatica or Clover or Evinici or Data Stage or so many other tools are there guys like Pentaho also one of the tool I guess. Pentaho right. So there are so many other tools. So it's like you know as a, as a developer you are actually confined to work on a certain tools but as part of tester you are very open and you can work on any kind of tool right. So that is how it is. So uh, this is the first one, right? So then second one is basically in terms of learning. Um, uh, so I'll tell you as part of roles and responsibility, what all the things, uh, you know, uh, will fall into ETL developers role. So one is the, the requirement. So whole uh, life cycle, I would say guys in SDLC, where all the uh, S DLC software development life cycle. So uh, as part of your role as a developer, uh, you are supposed to do the requirement analysis. Okay. So whatever requirement are gathered from your, uh, you know, product owner or your business analysis team or business analyst from the customer, you are actually supposed to analyze that particular requirement, right? And then you are supposed to convert into low level design, right? You, you actually have to convert that into technical design. So this is basically requirement uh, this is based on business requirement document, right? And then you have to convert into low level design, which is nothing but technical design, right? Technical design. Okay. So uh, this is how you are supposed to convert this. This is also your responsibility. And then uh, obviously, uh, obviously you need to, you need to, uh, you know, develop, right? develop the code and uh, uh, develop the mapping, etc. everything end to end and also responsible. Uh, okay. After development, you are supposed to uh, make sure that it goes into production successfully and you have to keep a watch over there, right? So there is no issue in the production until uh, you know, there are a couple of runs and uh, the code is already stabilized in the production, right? So production uh, deployment and deployment and, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you will not be actually doing the production deployment, but you will be monitoring it or you will be standalone for some time actually, right? Few days. And this is the responsibility on top of that. So this is basically for a, this is responsibility for, a, I would say the new requirement, right? This is new requirement. Okay. Uh, what if there are issues? So now what will happen is let's say production in production, there, there is production running and in production environment, there is some issues, right? Bug, right? That, that got introduced, right? What is your responsibility as a, uh, you know, as a, uh, as a developer is basically, uh, this will be obviously reported by the product production team, production support team, and then they will report it to, uh, to you uh, as because you are actually level three support, right? So they will uh, notify that there is a bug and you need to fix it. What is your responsibility is to give them estimation. Also like uh, when you can deliver this as, as earliest and then you need to understand what is the priority from the business side, how critical this defect is, whether this need a hot fix or this need a, you know, uh, it can go to the normal release or emergency release, etc. based on the criticality of the bug 
uh, are the defect right so that is your responsibility to understand that and also again once you understand it you are supposed to you know do again the same thing again you have to develop and you have to make sure it is again deploy into production and further this uh, bug is not there so as part of uh, ETL developer the role is quite wide basically and uh, uh, as you are the only person who is going to deliver the end-to-end -end, uh, product right into production uh, starting from your requirement analysis everything right so uh, uh, this is what the responsibility of ETL developer right and then when it comes to ETL tester as part of SDLC so testing uh, engineers role is basically to uh, understand the requirement obviously you will also do the requirement analysis here right so I will say requirement analysis all right and then you are supposed to design the test cases or uh, test case design right you have to do the design and then test execution you have to do and then you have to report the bug bug reporting if there is any right and then uh, test closure right you also have to ensure that whatever testing you wanted to do uh, it is closed right so it will basically happen here basically this testing will fit into here somewhere I will say uh, testing right testing this fit in here before it gets released into production right we have to do the testing here and this is where the QA team is involved but uh, it's not that the QA team will be involved here QA team will be involved much before then uh, I mean basically uh, in parallel uh, to the development team because they also have to do the requirement analysis write the test cases test scenario but it will actually fall just before so it, it should be in parallel basically I would say right so so if you uh, so from here uh, requirement analysis then it will be uh, test cases design test execution bug reporting and then test closure right and then after that it will be actually deployed to the production so I would say it's not responsibility of a tester or the test engineer to deploy the code but yes it will fall just before deploying the code right so this is the responsibility right and uh, yeah I would say the in terms of role I think it is quite bigger because you need to understand um, you need to understand uh, the you know uh, the stuff here uh, and you have to be in coordinate guys so yes uh, so this is the responsibility now coming back to the skill sets right so that's very important thing the skill sets that you need to actually learn if you are uh, skill sets if you are looking to uh, choose the career uh, so one thing is very important is you need to learn the tool first of all for example if you are uh, if you are looking for informatica i think most of the people are actually looking for informatica as an ETL tool then you need to learn the Informatica okay first of all and uh, believe me it's uh, it's not too difficult I think if you uh, choose to do that I think it's quite uh, easy but uh, it's time taking yeah because you have to explore each and everything there are a lot of feature within this tool right so this tool is huge and uh, provides uh, you know uh, provides the solution for each and every problems within the ETL right or the data warehousing or you would say the data migration world right so you need to learn this tool first of all and then along with that other skill set I would say you should be good in SQL query writing right SQL query writing you should also be good in uh, database uh, database uh, uh, design all right because you uh, at a time you also might be involved into uh, data modeling design as well right what kind of table and whether fact table dimension table you will be actually you will be one of the core contributor to that also data model design however this designing will be done by normally the database uh, you know um, what you say database administrator but you are supposed to tell them basically right <coughs> So database design, so you should be very good at the database uh, concept and uh, all the, you know, so if you're working on Oracle, you should be knowing each and every feature about uh, Oracle as well. So this is something uh, very, very uh, essential skill when you need to design the uh, schema, target, etc. 
okay you should be very good uh, writing in sql that's i said already and and also you should have very good um, you know command on writing the linux commands right because you need to actually uh, most of the informatica is hosted on linux system so interacting and working on linux is very important you should be able to write some uh, cell scripting okay uh, i would not say that you should be very expert in writing cell scripting but you should know at least how the cell scripting works and then uh, basic uh, linux commands etc that we need to know and then um, what else we need to know um, yes and uh, also guys uh, mm, i think uh, yes i think data warehousing concept guys okay data warehousing concepts you should be good at right what is fact what is dimension uh, until you know that you will not be able to contribute into database design guys right so that is the most important thing also right so these are some of the skill sets that uh, uh, you know you should be knowing yeah and uh, you should be comfortable with as part of your uh, if you are choosing as a ETL developer I think there are some other skill sets that you can continue to develop but uh, I think uh, to start with I think these are the some of the skills that we should uh, we should be uh, comfortable with right uh, now coming back to the skill sets that is needed for uh, you know for uh, test engineer so it's a uh, it's pretty similar right but uh, guys you should be knowing so rather than informatica tool if you know that is good but if you don't know informatica so i'm just taking example guys right so i'm taking informatica here you can be you know take the ab initio it's basically you should be knowing that tool on which you are going to code right or in which you are going to do the development right so believe me the projects one project will not have multiple etl tool right most of the time one of the project will be having only a single tool single etl tool and that will be used across the project basically so as part of so it's similar to your programming language isn't it so if your actually application is on dotnet then you will be working on dotnet whole of your team will be working on dotnet for a very long period of time until there is a change in technology right similar to that right so the informatic the etl tool will also be one tool on which every team will be working <coughs> your whole team will be working and then uh, so that's why you should be knowing that particular tool or you should learn actually if there is any uh, new things you should be getting some kt uh, kt or some sort of trainings etc right now coming back to uh, okay skill sets for tester is it's not required that you need to have the informatica or a initio or you know any uh, specific test uh, you know etl tools uh, knowledge but you should know what you should know is basically etl testing etl testing concept right how to test between source and target where what is slow changing dimension what is uh, basically how do we uh, you know uh, verify whether the transformation is uh, correctly transforming the data if source is heterogeneous and target is heterogeneous how do we match the data between source and target and all those kind of validation so when you know the etl testing i think uh, we know that in etl testing uh, we do lot of validation and we know that so this etl testing concept is must right so that is why it is called etl tester also right the roles of retail tester retail testing now uh, obviously you need to know the sql queries right you should be able to write it because this is very part of your etl testing because you need to write the query to fetch the data from source and target or wherever it is needed right database design it may not be too much needed but then you should have the basic knowledge so that will actually be part of your sql query right so you should have the basic uh, understanding of the uh, any of the uh, you know database uh, rdbms concepts okay so but uh, yes you should be good at the sql query and uh, too much uh, understanding on database design is not required yeah uh, basic linux commands okay linux are if you have any other unix system so for example uh, if you have let's say uh, what do you say Mm, any other uh, lin uh, not only linux any other uh, unix systems right so if you are working you should be knowing the basic because the basic commands are same in all the unix systems right so basic unix you should linux command you should be knowing cell scripting okay you should be knowing it but it's not mandatory but okay fine uh, sometime it, it works when you want to automate certain uh, process certain system then it is important uh, a bit of data warehousing concept is important okay data warehousing concept is important because 
until you understand how the data is stored or sometime you need to test the slow ch slowly changing dimension then you need to know at least what is type 1 type 2 type 3 and how do we need to test it right and how do we test the incremental load how do we test the full load etc right so that data warehousing concept is important right what is fact what is dimension uh, tables etc right so all those things are important right so i think these are some of them and uh, some of the skills that we know it is i, I will say that this is quite uh, vast but i think you can start with so i have already done uh, you know all this uh, videos i think uh, other than that you would like to uh, learn something maybe uh, extra you can do something is like python wherein you can do a bit of more automation etc but yeah i think uh, this should be good to at least start your career and uh, you are you know you should be able to learn or upskill your system but this i am telling you if you are actually switching your career from some other role to etl testing role or etl development role right so yes guys or, or okay and then uh, also i would say that in terms of uh, you know the salary that you can fetch in the market is i think it's quite uh, attractive and uh, I will tell you that, uh, you know, uh, from the development and testing, testing uh, both, uh, I think, will not have too much of a salary difference between these two uh, people because here the tester is also need to have the same set of skill sets where the development person is going to have it, okay? And even as part of your uh, testing, I would say one thing is very good that you, you are actually test, tester is uh, tool agnostic right so if let's say there is an opening uh, you know uh, for uh, uh, for example informatica developer and and an etl tester in the etl tester any person who do not have uh, understanding of informatica that person also can can fit in because uh, that person uh, don't need to learn the you know necessarily that particular etl tool but let's say the person from the development uh, as part of your ETL developer, let's say the person has worked on Pentaho, let's say, uh, yeah, data stage, let's say. And the requirement is for the Informatica, that person will not fit, okay? I mean, they, they might consider, but uh, it's like, you know, that person has to upskill, right? And a uh, lot of, um, uh, you know, uh, practice that person has to do. So it's it's not very easy fit here, but when you say tester, it's very generic role, right? ETL tester, he or she can fit into any kind of ETL uh, tool or anywhere, right? So that's that's one of the the advantage, and that's the reason I'm saying that the, from the from the package or the salary point of view, I think it's very competitive. Uh, both uh, sometime you know I have seen personally some of the test engineers, ETL test engineers are fetching more than the developers do, right? So uh, I'm not saying that it's like uh, always the case, but then I think these two uh, skill sets are very good. Uh, you should actually choose uh, the career based on um, based on your uh, you know uh, learning appetite. So if you are going for ETL developer, obviously you have to put in uh, more efforts and uh, uh, sometime you know the deadlines are very aggressive. So if you are uh, if you can take you know um, pressure and you you work better in pressure and if you are uh, able to you know if, if you want to upskill yourself every time because as i said that uh, we have to learn so many tools here uh, in terms of uh, uh, performing your job as a tool developer so learning will be more and uh, obviously um, that will pay you off as well right so it's it's trade off right so guys so which one you want to choose so this is what i wanted to cover okay and uh, if you have any further question i think you can uh, let me know okay and i will say package Mm, similar right similar to etl tester okay there is not uh, much difference yeah and that's all guys i think and uh, if you want to learn etl developer or etl tester i think i have my channel is more about uh, etl testing or etl q engineer perspective but i think i have also covered i think uh, some of the skills that you can learn for example data warehousing cell uh, not cell scripting linux database sql query i think only thing informatica also i have done some video so you can even learn the, the development point of view from uh, my channel but it is more of a test centric basically but uh, yes as i said that you can actually learn it here also so that's all guys uh, i think i uh, i wanted to cover as part of the video i will come back soon with the next set of videos and uh, until then uh, you know happy learning and uh, yeah that's all uh, for this video uh, thanks for watching 
and uh, uh, God bless you guys.